Hello. Fine, we'll eat the stupid Batman pizza. <laughs> Batman uh, Calzone, it's called, because uh, I think the top and bottom are calzones. That smell is so overwhelming. <laughs> like all Little Caesars, just steaming. So, uh, honey, I'm going to assume you do not have the fondest relationship with the Little Caesars brand. No. Not not, not a particular fan? No. It, 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 it most... I'll be honest, most of this pizza of this ilk has not worked for me in the past. Well, you lived in New York for some time, yeah. so, uh, so you have pizza opinions. Spoiled. Me, I am, like, pizza whatever. Like, I, I acknowledge that there's better pizza than others, but for me, Little Caesars has a place in my past, mm -hmm. mainly just because, again, the $5 hot and ready, like, in a lot of places I've lived... That's the most reliable, affordable pizza you can get. Yeah, and you know, and, and again, I lived in Brooklyn, in New York, where you could, yeah. or where there are uh, versions of five dollar hot and ready's that are like, but from real pizza places, real pizza places, or like, you know, Jamaican patties, or like sausage or smoked sausage or something like that, where it's like you know, good if not better. I think I also because again, I can forgive a lot if something is cheap. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And five dollars for a full pizza, again, in a lot of places, that is a tremendous bargain. No, of course. And it's like I, you know, from all the stories I've heard about Mr. Caesar, <laughs> he he seemed to be like a genuinely good dude who had like you know, like like no complaint, no notes, good a solid dude. At least as as far as these uh, uh, social media accounts keep on telling us. As far as restaurant magnates go, yeah. Um, but. Uh, I'm mostly just fascinated by the fact that this new uh, Matt Reeves Batman film, which is being marketed as, like, the most serious, gritty Batman movie ever made. Has a pizza that looked like you smashed two pads together? Yeah, has it has this tampon-shaped pizza <laughs> where, like, all the, all the social media posts have been about how much the pizza itself does not look like the shape in the advertisement, and even the shape in the advertisement looks like a tampon, so I can't... I was wondering if they were trying to get a sponsorship with Diva Cup, and it didn't work <laughs> out, so Batman was just to that the second option. <laughs> well, I, I can't remember uh, who it was who made this joke, but somebody online commented that, like, well, apparently this is as close as DC will let Batman get to a vagina. Ah! After that whole uh, kerfuffle with Harley Quinn season three. But it's like, even ignoring the uh, unfortunate implications of the shape of the pizza itself, even if it looked perfectly like the bat signal and nothing else, mm -hmm. a Batman shaped pizza is such a silly thing for like this allegedly very serious Batman movie mm -hmm. to be cross promoting with. And here we have, I, I just love this art where we have the uh, the Little Caesar guy dancing on the rooftop as he sees yeah. the bat signal. Pizza, pizza. L l like, it's like, I'm fascinated by this because, like, I would understand this for even the Schumacher Batman movies. Yeah. Because they had, like, McDonald's cross promotion and everything. And I would understand this. A little less for the Nolan ones, but like there are there are lots of Batman movies that feel much more like uh, merchandise movies. Yeah, and it's fascinating to me that they're doing this for this one. Yeah. Um, but also, I guess Little Caesars is just recognizing that despite the alleged seriousness of this movie, Batman is a concept with some silliness intrinsic to it, as I may be discussing next week. Um. So, I don't know, but uh, I expect this... I, I, I don't think I've ever had a Little Caesar calzone, so I don't know what those... what the ears will taste like, the ears and tail, but they gave us, like, crazy dipping sauce to go with the calzone for whatever reason. But, I mean, this is going to taste just like a Little Caesar's pizza, so I don't know why we're calling it a taste test. So, but shall we? Let's dive in. Let's look at... <laughs> I'll, I'll say... It looks more on model than a lot of the ones I've seen online. <laughs> but, um... Oh, God, this is good. The Okay, these are particularly, like... I need to get this at, uh, like, a sideways <laughs> angle. I need to take a photo of like, this for Instagram. <laughs> these calzones are, like, real big, like, 
mumps. The side here, it's like, it's almost just a regular round pizza edges. But then you got all these slices in the middle, these square no crust slices. That's very, you know, high, uh, school cafeteria <laughs> in its presentation. The thing about Little Caesars, in my experience, is it basically tastes like one step up from making an English muffin pizza yourself with just spaghetti yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah. And again, I am fine with settling for that most of the time, but I've never had the calzone and so, you know, we got calzones and Batman in one place, so this is Ben Wyatt's dream come true. I get it to myself. Uh-oh, Batman's crying. I though I have a feel like we're about to enter into Ben Wyatt's nightmare <laughs> while eating this thing, so. <laughs> Will the calzones betray us? Let's find out. I guess we'll start with the calzone. We'll each take a calzone head or tail. It's, oh, I see it's a uh, multiple calzone here. Oh. The, uh, the, the pizza isn't separating. It's stuck together with bat glue. Bat glue. I get, okay, I, I guess, I guess these are supposed to be attached. Like this is a like, part like, calzone, like it's, part it's, it's pizza. wings, basically. All right. You get your glue. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely Little Caesars dough with the Little Caesars, like, garlicky stuff all around it. It's like one step down from a Hot Pocket. One. <laughs> a Hot Pocket is already a pretty low bar. I, I, I need to clear my, my, my passages out after that. Hmm. I don't love these little pepperoni chunks in there. No. They're, no. They feel too much like ham. It's basically mystery smeat, you know? <laughs> Maybe that's the mystery Robert Pattinson is solving in this movie. <laughs> what is the meat inside the calzone? Well, darling, I'm glad you're going to enjoy eating this by yourself for the next, like, month and a half now, but, like, mm. Well, like I said, I can do a slice of Little Caesars anytime because I can forgive a lot if it's cheap. And, like, I've never gotten food poisoning or anything from Little Caesars, so... Like, they do keep it hot mm -hmm. and ready. And this thing, I like garlic, I like parmesan, I like pizza, but for some reason this combination here just does not sit well with my soul. Do you think it's just that the ingredients are subpar, or do you think it's, like, the ratio of them? I think it's the ratio. Because I think not... I think even if it's maybe quote-unquote low quality or whatever, it is possible to still make it good. It's just that... This 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 cheese oozing out of the calzone mm -hmm. like looks like it looks like cottage cheese. Oh god! It tastes like pizza cheese, but it looks so weird. So this has always been my gripe with like this style of pizza, this this version of pizza is that the crust sucks, mm -hmm. and you can for I can forgive so much on pizza if the crust is good. Mm -hmm. But this is just just like it's spongy, it's bready, it's like. A crust should have, like, a nice crispness to it, but, like, still allow for some good chew. And it just is so flabby with each bite. I'm like, nope. See, I don't mind a bready, chewy crust. And also with Little Caesar specifically, I'm pretty sure that the dough they use for the crust, like, it's just the same as they do for the crazy bread. Mm -hmm. Just on that, they don't put any sauce or cheese on it. I think that's one of the reasons I'm more forgiving of a Little Caesar's pizza is because I do think, aside from how aggressively greasy it is... Yeah, that too. Like, the grease is just, like, way, way too much for me. And that's valid. But I do think that the dough in Little Caesar's Pizza is a decent breadstick crust. Not, like, a great breadstick crust, but... I think this is just where you and I have sort of differing opinions we on do, that. Well, we just have different standards for what makes a breadstick. Because yeah. I like a breadstick that I can really chew into and that, like rips off in my teeth. Whereas I like something with a little bit more of a snap to it. It doesn't have to need to be like a twig per se, but that has a little bit more of like a a crunch to it. I also just in general like softer foods because oh. they're easier to swallow with my myriad of undiagnosed throat issues. Oh, baby. These weird pepperoni chunks are, are really hurting it in there. I'm going to be feeling this for a while. <laughs> and, and, and even with my general okayness with a Little Caesars pizza. I don't think the calzone shape is really the best form for the Little Caesars no. ingredients. I also, so I guess we weren't supposed to separate these from these pizza slices. I guess we were supposed to eat the pizza and then get to the calzone, and like the calzone was supposed to be the crust for these slices. So they're not supposed to be like 
cafeteria slices in the middle here. Yeah. Which is weird because these aren't like good for holding the pizza either. Like no. like, like like it's 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 it's, it's not a falling apart. Yeah, it's it's not sturdy enough to really hold the slice up, but it's um too sturdy to easily remove. And now we just have these uh you know, these like Elio slices basically. <laughs> If, 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 if anyone remembers that particular brand of frozen pizza. Mm -hmm. My brother says it's hip to be square, and Elio's pizza is square. Really. But yeah, I, I have much more tolerance for mediocre pizza than you do. Mm -hmm. So I am happy to finish this all not in one sitting. <laughs> it, it, no, it, it'll be in Tupperware for our fridge for a little while, and when I need a quick bite, I will just pop it in the toaster oven and... And I'm just happy we have salad in the fridge. <laughs> Because I need to have something to, I need to something to whisk broom this out, basically. Anyhow, the pizza just tastes like normal Little Caesars, yeah. but it's like got a little angle on. There's like a little yeah. crust angle on the slice mm -hmm. for the for the bat shape. Yeah, and this thing, I will never fault anybody for liking stuff like this that that get enjoyment out of it because it's like you know <laughs> different strokes. Just for me personally, it's not my bag I, in any shape or form of this whole thing. And, you know, it's, it's, I'm glad that people have something to meme at for a while, but it's like, at the end of the day, I'm, would be, I'm more willing to basically reach for anything else but this. That's fair. That's fair. Again, if it wasn't so cheap, I would never have Little Caesars, but, mm -hmm. but there's a QR code here that says, dig into the world of Little Caesars and the Batman. Shall we see what's, what that brings up? Yes. Little Caesars Partnerships. Little Caesars Partnership. Are we selling Batman timeshares now? Enter now for your chance to win a hometown screening of the Batman prop replicas from the Batman movie, a signed movie poster, Batman tickets, and Little Caesars merchandise. So it's a sweepstakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was assuming. I, yeah. I was just hoping there'd be like a game or something, no. but... Mr. Caesar does not have time for games. <laughs> he is too busy making the pizza. Well... That existed? Yeah. Whether it should have or not, whether it makes any sense as a cross-promotion. Eat the pizza, see the movie, scan the code. No. Calls to action. The Batman in theaters 2022. I also like the little uh, logos for the different types of uh, mm -hmm. pizza someone might order. And the we we got the Batman. Then we just have regular pizza ingredients. I'm gonna have to double floss after this. Well, honey, I'm sorry I made you do that. No, you're not. I also gave you an out. I said you did not have to participate in this one. <laughs> anyway, I have a non-pizza related Batman thoughts that will be available to you next week, or they are on. Patreon right now if you want to go watch next week's video ahead of time. And, uh, yeah. Nobody asked for this.